Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Hi, Alice and Mystic and Sean and JJX and Kay and just Rhonda and Dark Side and did I say Jinxie and Pam? Pam. Imagine that. I know she's in the background. Hi, Moles. Hey, everybody. This is Colombo, well known on um, Foul Play, otherwise known as Moe's Call into most of the chats. So, how are you doing tonight, Moe's? Yeah. Huh? So, so can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. Okay. Everybody saying hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Everybody is saying hi to you. Alice is laughing. <laughs> she does that. A lot. Yes. So anyway, let's see your t-shirt like you for your birthday. Let's see your t-shirt right there. Colombo, ma'am, 2020, gift from Pam. And your mug that you only use just for the show. <laughs> Jax is saying, Moe's. It says Colombo on it. It's very nice. So anyway, how are you tonight? I'm just fine. That's good. Anyway, so. I'm going to ask you those three fatal questions, and we'll probably only get two of them. First one being, how did you get involved in this case? <laughs> I watched this, and it first came out. I watched the man with everything in my heart. I believed that that I believed that was. Some kind of fictional thing. I argued with my girlfriend till I was blue in the face, and I did not believe it. I really did not. I mean, it's it, I've never seen nothing like this. And she said, "Well, wait. Now we got to watch two. So then we watched two, and uh, you know that. Uh, well, that didn't convince me it was real, and I argued the point that it was absolutely fake, you know, and we had a transformer blow up in our area, so we, everybody lost electric, but I had my trusty dusty phone, and sitting out on the porch, I started messing with YouTube, and I found Eric Cozy, Cheers and of course, it was making the murderer, Eric Cozy, and there I just, here I am. Uh, uh, and I still am to this day. I can't believe none of this. I cannot believe that the group of people can actually get away with doing this to someone. Yeah, I just can't. Exactly. You know, it's like the more I read, hear, and see, the less I want to believe it. But but it's true. So. Right. I mean, I don't know how how else to answer that. Yeah, I I mean, I thought it was fictional too. I said this is not even real. There's no way. This is just. And if it is real, them guys are out. This is an old movie. You know what I mean? That's what I thought. And then I googled too, and then I found the same person you did, and I got hooked the minute he said hello, Linda, in the chat. I was like gone. That was it. He said hello to me, and I was on, you know. But um, so well, I watched him, yeah. and I started following him, and it was like the more than, you know. Of course, back then, that's almost two years ago now, probably. But mm -hmm. it's like, uh, you you know, the more you see this, and the more you hear about this, the worse it actually sounds. And it's just hard to believe. I, I mean, but it's real. Right. This so is when, real. This is not real. Right. So you started watching Nerikozi and then, um, you know, watching documents, I would imagine, first. When I started watching him back then, that's when he was showing documents and, you know, reading them out loud and showing you what, you know, it was what was going on. Um, did you start to go, this is real? But how are they getting away with this there? 
I mean, I live in in America, and I can't see that happening in my state. Or, um, you know, was there any of that going on in your head? I mean, as you started hearing more facts, or you know I, what I mean? I I think it might have been. Um, oh God, what was that girl's name? She was a blonde girl. Had, had frizzy Judy. hair. She was a nut. And well, anyway, I, I think it might have been her that he was chatting with. And then I started following her until I, she was a nut. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't Perplex Cutie? Follow her, is that no. per, Perplex Cutie? Is that what, who you're talking Perplex yeah, Cutie? I think it is. Yeah, that's her. Perplex. Yeah, she's got another venue. She has another. Uh, genre now <coughs> another genre of the youtube she's a uh, totally not true crime anymore that i know of so and if she is i don't know anyway <laughs> go ahead so you started I listening to her. Her. okay and i followed her for a while i can't think of that other girl's name i'm um, casey martinez there was another girl that i casey martinez or ali apperson Allie, I listened to her a lot. Yeah, Allie's good. Allie's, Allie's who I was listening to, I think, when I found Foul Play. Yeah. I, I, I'm not also, sure. I, I can name yeah. that stuff. So. Right. But you made your way and found who you believed more or who you liked their style more about the case, what they brought to you. So you fixed on that. And then as things started coming out to you, what were your thoughts then? Like, are they really serious? They got away with this? Like, they, you know, there was bones over here. There's bones over there. Not a let on, let well, on that. Know, How about this question? When they gave them. <laughs> that, that's something that I try to explain to my girlfriend. I'm all about the law, you know, and I mean, I don't know everything there is to know about law, and I'm not saying that I do. I can learn something new every day, but I know that none of this is right. You know, right. you just can't, it, in, in my opinion, and, and I know this sounds bad, but basically Stephen was hooked on a chain, drugged into the courtroom, told he was guilty, and he was going to prison for the rest of his life. There was absolutely none of that stuff that was in the middle that meant anything. Right. Nothing. Right. And, and so, there was all the evidence, you know, the physical evidence, the scientific evidence that they actually did present. But, you know, I mean, it, it's like when I watched Man. And that, that, uh, Kasurik or whatever his name was was standing there and said that you can fake DNA. I like the fell out of my chair. Yeah. I mean, no uh, way. I mean, you I cannot fake DNA. How the hell do you do that? Well, sure enough, you can. Dr. He was, Zoopman is perfect. Yeah, well, he's, he's not said you faked it. He said, well, we all know that it could have been his DNA, but where did he get it from? That was the telling question where like, you know, like you can get it from somewhere else other than the item. Like it can be planted. Exactly what you're saying. Yeah, that, I mean, it, 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 yeah, I mean, you can plant DNA. That's what he said. No, you right. Can it. You right. Can but either exactly. way, I mean, I mean, really? I mean, what, yeah, you, like, you take up my spit and rub it somewhere or something, you know, I mean, yeah. but no, How it was blood. How do you trust them? You Say know that again. How do you trust them after you hear that? Yeah, you don't. No. You, you don't trust them. You know. You know it when you throw trust into this thing. Yeah. It's like uh, you know you hear everybody always ask the 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 question for Brendan for his mom. You know why, mom? Why? You know, it's like if Brendan was here right now and was to ask me how, how this happened, what what are you telling? 
you know, could I tell him? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, we tell our kids that the police are friends. We, I mean, we tell our kids to tell the truth, we tell, you know, and everything will be okay. But that didn't work that way for Brendan. No. Nope. You know, and it didn't work that way for Stephen. Right. Right. It, it, it's a sad situation. Here, we're going to freak out somebody right now that's watching us on big screen. So get prepared. Here we go. There you go. How's that one for you, Miss Chris? <laughs> we're really big now. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it to her. So I don't care. <laughs> make her really, I don't care less. <laughs> she said, um, you guys are on big screen. Hey, Colombo. Hey, Linda. I miss Chris. But we I really had to make us go on. She goes, whoa. <laughs> She's laughing. Yeah, but anyway. That's what saying. So, so when you when you um when you started putting it in your head that this did happen, it is real. These guys are there. And you're interested into the legal, like me. That's kind of what it turned for me was I only really want to watch or hear what legally can be done in court because that's the only avenue they have out, you know? So them giving well, back, the yeah. bones, you know, so them giving back the bones and with KZ's motion, and I know you're well aware of the motion and what was said and all this and that. What do you think is going to happen? And first of all, what are your what are your views on them giving back biological evidence back in 2011? Well, I mean, in reality, they should have not done that without consulting his attorney and him, you know, being Stephen as him. Should have not done that. Right. That that's that that is illegal and such a bad mistake on their part in so many ways. I mean, so many ways. Why they did that? Well, everybody has a theory. You know, I'm not a hundred percent sure what what their idea was there, but. Whatever they do you think it makes them look guilty? Uh, I don't think it make them look any right. more guilty. I mean, if they had a sign that said "I did," yeah. it wouldn't make them look any more guilty. <laughs> I believe. Yeah. I believe that is like yeah. uh, one of the biggest mistakes they could have made. I don't think that the rab exists. Does it? You think they gave that? Know. Uh, you know, I, I just believe the, the lawyer. She says she she believes it's there, so I have faith in her. But we oh, also yeah, know that... She believed that they were going to give her the bones to test, too, didn't she? There you go. <laughs> there you go. You know, so, tomorrow so, I'm going to be real tall, dark, handsome, long hair. I'm there. I believe that, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be 50 pounds lighter well, and 20 years younger too. So yeah, I get it. I, I get it. I don't think, as far as, as that round goes, I don't think that they can let her have it. I don't know. Everybody's one round, two rounds. I think well, that everybody well, got the steam one round. I believe yeah. everybody got steam one round. I yep. don't for a second believe it was Tracy's. Well, yeah, Not for I mean, a second. That, the Rav is a big controversy. It goes round and round, and every year it's you know new people come in and they see the same things that we all did, and you know we all have our opinion, and that's great. You know, if I'm wrong on the one Rav, I'm wrong, and I'll say I was wrong. You know what I mean? But there was, I think it was Miss Chris, in fact, who pointed this out to me. There's a statute. In Wisconsin, that says they don't have to keep all of the evidence. Say, like the car, they just need to keep the evidence that had biological. The, the biological evidence, evidence that come from the, the, the that's rat, right. That they right. 
miraculously decided to tear out of there the parts right. of the seats and whatever. Yeah. But, that but literally okay, yes. is what they mm -hmm. have. Right, but don't you think in the same right that that is also, if they get rid of it, it is also covering up things they might not have, you know, took as evidence, but could be like the one strand left in the RAV or, you know what I mean? Things that they didn't want to show. Because I believe there was things that, that was in that RAV that they didn't want to show, you know? Well, they show you a picture of the, uh, the light. It's in the back of the round. And it's right. got a great big smear all the way across. KZ wants to test it. They go and take it out of the bag. Next thing you know, <laughs> there's a picture of it. It's perfectly clean and clear. No more smear. Why is that? Yeah. And everybody's yeah. like, this is why it's uh, this is why I say it's not hurt. This is why I say it's not hurt. This is why I say it's not. Everybody's got an answer to that. Right, right. I I they just did think that. So much. Well, they did so much with this round, and that's that's where the lie started, is with Brad. Right. It's well, that's where they're right. Stephen put his hand on the outside top of that car. Why don't they have Stephen's fingerprints on the round? He admits yeah. touching yeah. the round, but his fingerprints are nowhere inside or outside on the round. Well, I mean, how can that be? Yeah, I agree. I, I totally agree that there's no fingerprints of Brendan, and he says he was in it too. He was in the back seat, according to Brendan, if, if I remember right. I mean, there's, yes, Nan's life. I, I the front seat. There, they you know, did. right up there with yeah. that CD base and all of that. He right. was in the front seat. Well, um, right. let me address this. Nan's life says bi biological evidence they only tested and used in court, and all biological evidence they logged in as taken. Yes, but what I'm saying is they might have overlooked evidence on purpose. You know, like not swabbed, you know, they didn't swab the the hand, a single, you know, the steering wheel or the, you know, the gear shift or or the pole under the, you know. They didn't do none of that because that they knew he never that touched me. That's something KZ would have tested, I would think. Don't you think? She would have tested that and probably found somebody else's DNA on it. That is some of the things that she wants to test and look mm -hmm. at. But that's yeah. why they don't want her to have it. He right, never it touched that rat. He was never inside that rat. I agree with I you. I don't think he ever touched the outside of that one because I don't think that it's traces. It, it, um, I think, I'm. you know, I got my opinion that it's one rav. I also got my opinion that they got rid of it and only took what they wanted out of it. And therefore, she does, can't test anything, else, which will prove him to not be guilty because I do believe there would be somebody else's um, DNA on there, you know? So, so I think that they, they, they got yeah. their way of, in other words, yeah, in other words, what I'm saying is they got their way of twisting things, especially in this case. Do you not agree that they really twist things to fit their narratives? <laughs> oh, well, that's an understatement, but okay, I'll run with that. <laughs> yeah. Get <I> mean, <laughs> The lion, they know they're lying, and they know I know they're lying, but they keep lying. Right, right. And they and they, they got a lot and to cover up. Exactly. We all feel that way. Every person that's on this chat right now feels that. I'm sure. He yeah. did not know that. You, you hear people say that Stephen didn't get a fair trial. I don't. Think I don't believe that that's exactly the case. I don't think Stephen got a trial. I think they hold him in there, said he's guilty, and that was the end of it. All that other stuff was just 
Hey. Yeah. Exactly. I agree with you. Um, it's it, they, they just I think they got so many lies that we're what do you pick out and, and, and I mean how do you trust anything if there's one thing um, planted then you believe everything's planted if there's one lie that I mean that's how they go about a a, a, a person being guilty is by them their credibility you know what I mean so their credibility in my eyes doesn't stand. Uh, it don't hold water. In other words, how do you feel about their credibility? <laughs> I don't think they have any credibility. I don't either. I mean, so absolutely you... not. Right. If Stephen what? was guilty of this, why did they have to do all of this stuff to prove it? Right. I mean, Clearly, that's he didn't put that blood in that rat. Why did it have to be put there? You got a key that she never touched. She never had that key in her possession. She never touched right. that key. Right. I think it Why was a brand new know? key that they had. Yeah. Only, only Stephen touched it. Only Stephen's DNA. Yeah, only Stephen's DNA, no mixture of DNA anywhere. And in a crime scene where there's been a murder and blood, and um, Stephen was supposedly, um, you know, reopened his his finger, uh, there would be mixed blood, correct? I mean, don't you agree with that? I mean, there should be I a do. mixture of something, especially on the key. I think on the key especially. That's always bothered me. You know, that's one thing that's always bothered me. So what about, okay, in, in as far as their evidence goes, what's the the one piece of evidence that you think is like, oh, my God, get rid of this. How the fuck can they fall for this shit? You know what I mean? What's the one that went, made your head explode going, how can they do that? Well, we know now about item F. I mean, they nobody knew that during the trial, of course, but I don't even know what to call that. I mean, it has it has no bearing on this case. Right. Other so than the fact that it was it? something that was planted. Other than the fact that it was something that was planted. Right. If, if, if you want to say, if, if you wanted to ask the question, who is the most responsible for this whole entire fiasco? It's Helmet Head. Yep. There's none of this that could have happened without her testing that. Uh, some people think she did, and I don't think she did a test one. I really do not. I think she took swabs, wrote up a bunch of paper, and sent them away. And, and you, like, like Dr. Silkman said, um, she could add that um, swab or whatever that DNA was already, she had it pumped into that um, database thing, you know, I mean, whatever. So she was there the and, first case. And got him out, and now she's in this case and puts him in. So well, yeah. Why are they why would you have a swab that I mean we're we're talking about a cotton swab and you can take a Q tip right now right. and run it across your keyboard of your computer. Right. And look at it. I don't care if you cleaned it yesterday. There's going to be dust on that. There's going to be dirt. On that one, there's no dust, dirt, slime, grime, grease. There's none of that. Just Stevens DNA. How's that work? How yeah. do you do that? From under a hood of a car. Yeah. I can't lift the hood of my car without getting dirty. 
I can't. Neither no, can you. Nobody. I can't. Can. I can't. Once it's I been on the brand, it's in there. It. Especially around there. You know, dusty, dirty, look at her wheels. Had to be dirt in there. Mud. Well, you're from that area. And I, I tried to explain this to my girlfriend several times. But they make them roads. They come along and put this. Uh, it it, it kind of looks like the felt Class stuff five. they use for a garden. Class five. And then they come along with the gravel on top of it. And <laughs> that gravel was made a lot. And that's what's all over that car. Right. There's there's no way she's driving around on them roads. And not every day. And does. Exactly. That car. <laughs> <laughs> Just to prove you're right on this, we were in the car <clears throat> when we were out at rally and Denise had just watched your car and we went just out to Calumet County and did our little, you know, moves, talking to the cows, you know, kind of thing and came back and her car was a dusty, dirty mess. I mean, it was. Yeah, it's got a great it had rain. On. Yeah, it had rained and, you know, there was mud up under there. It was They were all needed to be washed. You know what I'm saying? So it's a country setting. You're going to have dirt. Okay, so if you rub that cotton swab under there and you don't have any grease on there even from putting it no. up, putting it down after no. you open up Perfectly a oil can or, yeah, there's, that's impossible. I don't care if you get a brand new car, there's going to be some oil on there. You know what I mean? I mean, there's going to be a film on there of some sort. You're going to get something, not a clean, white, white, like that white swab and then have dna all over it even like you said touching a keyboard if you just wash it, it's going to have some oils on it so i get well, i, get I mean that. it's just impossible for me to believe that them swabs ever touched that car there's nothing in the blood he took the he took the piece of swab that they cut that has his blood to prove that that's his blood. Well, everybody's D E D T A, whatever that, that garbage is. That may or may not be there. But regardless of whether that was or wasn't there, why isn't there something besides blood there? Right. Dust, dirt. Well, if he was bleeding from his finger and got it on the dash, wouldn't he have it still on his finger and go up on the hood? I mean, if it's dripping down, like they said, it dripped down on his finger, so it got on the tip, and when he turned it, that's how yeah, the drip was there, but it doesn't the make aliens, The aliens must have been in that car because it didn't have any gravity, and the blood flowed upward. Look at it. You can clearly see it. That's yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, it's so, even bleed. Don't forget. So the blood is like the the one thing that you just went not happening. That blood, that bird no. sign, that little seagull no. they made in there, not I, happening. I didn't buy that. I, and I buy it less every day. Okay. I did, so I, you don't buy the key. You don't buy the blood. You don't no, buy the DNA no. under the hood. Okay, let's get to None. the ball. Do you believe, what do you think about the burn pit and the bones? That's the last thing of evidence outside. Because, well, you said you didn't believe in fucking FL either. So FL is out too. So now we're down to the bones. This, this is going to sound This is going to sound pretty, uh, pretty rough. I, I grew up basically in a town, but my family owned a gigantic farm. Yeah. And there are cows born, there's horses born, you know, there's other animals that are born, and they don't make it. Well, right. basically, you burn them. Yep. That's true. You I've don't, said that don't too. burn a body. Them bones don't burn away to nothing. They, they, they don't. And I mean, we've had gigantic fires to do that. 
I mean, they just don't burn away to numb. Uh, no, they don't. They take a lot longer than what was his fire supposed to be? A um, couple hours and six hours. hours. Okay, Take well, six hours. Well, that's a long time, but not an open pit. You know, it's not. And where are the body stains from burning a body? Um, I get where you say the smell. You burn an animal. You, it's gonna smell. You know what I mean? And they might not notice the smell. I don't know because I've smelt rotten things from in the country, but it's a burning of a, a carcass, you know, and they burn the whole well, thing. If it dies, does dies from disease or whatever. When I was a little boy, we had to walk from my house to uh, I guess it was probably about an eighth of a mile to get to the main road. In between my house and that road, a family called Cope Sticks lived there, and one of them was playing with the hot water tank and right. burned 90 plus percent of his body. You could smell that a block up the street from his house at my house. And when you walked past his house, you could smell that smell for months. He lived. But he was very, very badly burned and scarred for life. But you could smell that. Forever. Right, you could. Right. I mean, there, there's no way that there was a body of anything, person, animal, anything, right. burned in that fire pit, and Colburn didn't smell it when he came to talk to Stephen. Right. And I don't care if that was out in front of the the business. I've seen pictures. I mean, the right. business is, exactly. you can visually see it from right. Stephen's house. Right. So you, you can smell it from there. I mean, right. that's also yeah. something that I think. I mean, I know that how that works. Right, exactly. So pretty much, okay, Now, now you brought me to, we're close to the trailer. The burn pits very close to the trailer. A number one, I was there. There was a LP area where it would be. You had a roam and fire. The heat would have got over to it. But if it was cool and the wind was blowing, maybe the other way, it might not have. But the garage and um, Bear's um, house and Bear the dog uh, was pretty darn close to that fire and I think his hair would have melted up if it was like that and the garage probably would have melted and okay so eh, that to me sounds far-fetched again like you said the fire is if you, to to burn, burn. If you but, was to up and burn a body in that open pit now I know that the, the fire eventually was supposed to have been 10 foot high. If you had a fire that is actually that big of a fire for a body to fit in, it, I mean, we're talking about a round circle that a body right. can fit in, and right. you have that fire that is, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and say six feet. Do you think that you could take a push rake or a garden rake and stand there and move it around to bust the bones up? Um, There's no way. Don't think so. I don't think you'd be, no be able to be close enough. You would be burned to a crust. Yeah, you would be burned. <laughs> you would have burns over your entire body. Yeah, because it's it's extremely hot. And I've been to fires like that. It's extremely hot. So... Anyway, now to the trailer. Okay, let's go in the trailer. Brendan says that he was, you know, cut hair and sliced. And, you know, uh, you know the whole story. We don't need to go on and see what poor Brendan said because we know that was all a lie. Okay, and Wiegert is on stand and he says he had five days to clean it up. What are your views on that statement alone? Because for me, it's like you're a dumb bleep, 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 bleep. 
Who's going to buy it? I mean, it is true. He he basically did have five days. The problem is none of them five days was he ever on the property. He was at credits. They threw him off the property. Exactly. I mean, he had the first. It, for, from the 31st, he had had the first, the second, yeah. and some of the third. Because he was not at home during a lot of them days all day. Right. He went exactly. he went other places and and they knew that. But as far as five days to clean it up, yeah, maybe he did. Maybe there was five days to clean up the crime scene. <laughs> you know, <laughs> over there at Ryan's house or wherever the crime scene was because it was nowhere near Stevens. Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, nowhere. It, nothing happened to that girl on that property. No, nothing. nothing. Not a thing. Right. Not a and thing. you know, yeah, and, and, and a fire that high, the 10 feet high, it's <laughs> just that he's not going to be concentrated down on the ground as much as it needs to. And Dr. Stuckman says the fire pit was hot enough to cook a chicken and maybe some marshmallows. Not convert a human into bone fragments. They, they say that he burned four tires. I think it is maybe five. I've burned tires. Uh, that black soot would have been everywhere. That white tank would have been black, covered right. with the soot. I mean, right. you burn tires. I mean, you was a kid. You would. You, you know a tire. We can't even. We can't even burn them anymore because they're hazardous. Well, it's only one in the United States to burn tire. Yeah, you, but there's a reason for that. Yeah, they're very toxic and black smoke, and yeah, you know, I don't oh, think. God, they're terrible. Yeah, I think it would have left soot a lot of places. You know what I mean? It's just so now that we've gotten all that. A bull crap out the way because honestly, everything we talked about is something they presented in court that is beyond anybody's belief. You can't you can't find not one piece of evidence that's even credible. Okay, let's say that. And do you think that Kratz saying in the end? I know you know what I'm going to say. I wouldn't spend 20 seconds on those bones in the quarry. What are your thoughts about that? The whole cuss road and quarry, the bones being two miles, you know, I mean, the crime scene being um, extended two miles. Like, 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 give me your whole intake on that part of this case, because I think that's a very huge part of this case that. It is. It is a very, very good question. And you, I agree that's a very um, interesting, huge part. If you think about what you've just said, now we're not going to spend 20 seconds talking about bones from the quarry. Now, if you're a juror and you you hear me say that. Does that not prove to you that there was bones elsewhere? I mean, I don't care if this guy wants to talk about it or not. He just admitted they were there. Therefore, you have reasonable doubt. Right. What, so um, yep. you, you can't have it both ways. You yep. cannot have your cake and eat it too. But it, 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 a lot of that. I don't. There's. There's not. There's no answer that I, I can give you to that question, other than the fact that the jury was bought and paid for, and yeah. for them to not question the bones that came from the jury. That that says it. I mean that. That chisels that right out in stone. 
For me, another, I mean. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. And for them, that's uh, like you said, to have their cake and eat it too. Um, well, that brings me to Brendan's case, which is completely different than Stephen's case. Um, totally different, you know, I mean, it's like two people who killed here. Oh, it, one it one is completely different. Go ahead. <laughs> it is completely different. They drug him in there like a ton of dog and said, this boy is good. And pretty much the rest of it was a shit show. And as you see, the boy is guilty. And he did not know that. He did absolutely none of that. None of that happened. But yeah. As I said, if he was here right now, look at me right in the face and yeah. ask me how or why. You know, you you want to say that if they could do this to him, they could do this to anybody. Right. Your child, your grandchild, even your grandmother, for crying out loud. Me, but you. in reality, in reality, Brendan is my child. The same right. as he is yours. I mean, I it's you. my responsibility as an adult to look out for all the children, all right. of them. You know, if there's something wrong, say something. I mean, ain't, ain't that what we teach people? Yep. Ain't that yep. what we say? Well, yep. that was all wrong, and everybody saw it. Nobody right. said nothing. And nobody everybody said let that child down. Everybody. Yeah. And time. they are today. They're still letting him down today. That's right. And that was and that we got some things in the works for Brendan. So we're that was what I was gonna say. We're start trying to start something for that. So further down the road. But yeah, so out of I mean, the chances of anybody, you, me, being wrongfully convicted are pretty high, actually, if we were in trouble. Or even if we're not in trouble, if we're in the wrong area, wrong time, happen to look like well, somebody. Yeah. You know, because eyewitness statements are the ones they use, and they're so faulty. Like in Steve's first case, where it was Penny Bernstein was shown pictures, and by then she had this person in her mind, and she was just beat up and all this other, and she seen Steven again in a lineup, and she picked him out. And we all know that the pencil had made that happen by drawing his picture exactly the way it was in, in a... Right. Great. Okay, so that's one case of Stevens. Okay, then he gets exonerated of the rape of Penny Bernstein. And then two years later, when he's suing the state or suing the county, and he's got these really good lawyers, you know, that seen all the wrongdoing that Manitowoc County did to him the first time. What are your thoughts on them not addressing the fact that he could be getting set up again. That nobody yeah. questioned that. Because to me, that's that's something that's bothered me. Why didn't Glenn say something? Why didn't Buting or anybody raise an eyebrow to a man who was exonerated from being wrongfully convicted for 18 years? Well, yeah, well, you got to take out the six, whatever. Or no, they were running concurrent. But anyway, wrongly convicted once, found to be innocent, then suing the county, and then now all of a sudden, out of the blue, he's murdered a woman. Does that not send up a flag for you? I mean, if you were the average it, person living around town? It does. I mean, it, it does. To answer your question, yes. Yes, that sends up a a very extremely big red flag but i also understand and, and, and i mean i'm not trying to down anybody when i say this but stephen and brendan did not have representation right they had they had attorneys but if 
an attorney isn't allowed to say this guy did it. Right. Well, it's kind of hard for him to to defend you. And if he's like, well, I know this guy, Ryan, over here. I mean, he's absolutely a prime suspect. But if the attorney, the attorney cannot say that, and he's basically, it, he's a puppet. Yeah. I well, mean, he, he is nothing more than a puppet. Right. If he's not allowed to defend you, you basically have no attorney. Mm -hmm. And that is what they did. And the, the laws, and I don't know if it's just Wisconsin. I, I don't know that's the answer to this question. I don't know if it's just Wisconsin. But when you have laws that are set to protect the state and not the citizen, yeah. you can't win. You can't win. I don't win. care who you are. You cannot yeah. win. You could be Effie Bailey yourself and find yourself in the same position that Stephen was in because they're, they're, I mean, that's just their laws. When, right. you, when the police have laws that allow them to do what they want, well, right. I mean, I've, I've, um, I I had a discussion <coughs> today where um, I blame. Well, like there's a lot of people in the the town that let Stephen down, um, like um, the coroner. Okay, we were talking about how much power she had, and she backed down and didn't do her job and she, uh, off of a detective telling her, you don't need to be there. You know, Uyghur saying, you don't need to be there. But yet she has the power above the sheriff, above anybody there. She could have made a phone well, call and said, you're not letting me on the property. Um, and then, therefore, she would have put her word out. So I blame her too. My 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 yes. point is, there's a lot of people here that are, are are in a specific job, but they seem to not know their job description, like writing reports or taking pictures, or you know what I'm saying. You know where I'm going on this. There, a lot of people. I, I, I really get that. Uh, you you have to understand that everybody says that the coroner has the right to arrest the sheriff. You yeah. think you think that arrest means putting him in the cuffs, putting him in the car, taking him downtown, running through the system. That's not exactly the case. He does have authority to arrest the sheriff. Right. But Meaning that arrest, meaning that the sheriff would be removed from the scene and not allowed on the scene. Right, which he shouldn't have been anyway because he was Manitowoc. Well, my, my point is the people were um, like forgetting their job titles and what, what they were allowed to do or asked to do as that job. They just kind of backed down and let it wimp away. I'm, I mean, I'm really seeing oh, that. I mean, that that's and it's you're right. Yeah, you're, I mean you're absolutely right. Nobody done there. There no there's no protocols followed. Yeah, if true protocols would have been followed when that police officer made that statement that the then number had been altered or tampered with. Yeah, right then and there, the FBI should have took over. Yeah, there's tampering going on here. There's that's, something that's, exact. That's a exactly. federal offense in in every state in the United States. That yeah, is you can. Absolute, the federal agents should have seized everything right, right. then and there. Taken over. They didn't. Right. right. It they makes me wonder about their role too. I mean, what was their role? You know, I mean. 
because they were called in. And it's just, it's the ultimate uh, shyster store, uh, story I've ever heard. <laughs> Shiesty uh, case ever in life that I've ever seen. Um, uh, and we're still working on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Daily we find that things people dig and find. And so, you know, all this digging and finding, especially like, Lately, can you think of anything that has come out lately that you're just like, now that it just adds to it. It's not shocking, but it just proves more and more. You know what I mean? Yeah, when Dr. Soakman found F uh, W, <laughs> or, yeah, item W, his last, po his last podcast. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Uh, I've always that's wondered that's where that's the last thing came from. I've yeah. always wondered where that DNA came from. And yeah. when I heard that, I was, yeah. oh, my God. Now it yeah. makes sense. Now, yeah. But, you know, yeah. you got to understand, I did just a little bit ago say that it all comes back on helmet. Yep. And and I didn't get that at first. I could, couldn't keep blaming her, but you know she is the villain in it. She, uh, outside of Kratz, you know who who prosecuted this case to begin with, because any decent prosecutor would have never prosecuted Brendan. Um, they would have said no, 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 no. I mean, seriously, this just doesn't look right. You can't match mouth to evidence. Um, you know what I'm saying? That, but okay, Kratz did it. He's just as bad. He's just as bad. But how about the judge who says, I don't see the relevance of that. I don't see the relevance. Right. You know what I'm I talking don't about. Like the judge. Yeah. So there's all, all the key players are somewhat to blame. Would you not say that they're all involved, whether they did it or not, maybe they're not following protocol maybe um, just falling back on the trust of another officer or uh, another legal person thinking they knew more. You think that has a lot to do with it for people not speaking up to seeing weird things or what's your view on that? Well, I, I think that it took four, maybe five police officers to actually put this all into play. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the police officers, oh, man, look, this evidence we're finding. Right. They go with the evidence. They, they don't know how it got there. Right. As far as as far as what this judge goes, uh, you, you, may not, you, you may not want to believe it, but his hands are tied, too. He's, he's got to follow the same laws that the police have that allows them to get away with this. And it, it's, it comes down to a, a I want to say there's going to be one or two people from the police department, one or two people from the prosecutors section and, right. and so forth. And, and only one, of course, from the lab. Do you think? Do do you think that um, they'll ever find the real killer, or you, do you think that it's? Um, do you think like I mean? Do you have a suspect as to a killer that you think might be prosecuted? <laughs> I gave you something to think about there. Well, you know, it, yeah, I do. I. Uh, and I hate to say this, you know, I, mean, I won't say who it is. I won't that because that just right. ain't right. But I think I, yeah, that I, uh, I think that KZ honestly has has a good grip on this. Mm -hmm. I really do. And yeah, yeah. think about I, it. I think, that, yeah. <laughs> I, I think yes. To answer, to answer that question, yes, I do think somebody's going to be prosecuted for this. That's and good. the reason being, I, I know people don't want to believe it, 
but there was a very thorough investigation. When this all happened, there was. I mean, you would okay. not come home. You would not come home and tell your mom that you've seen your diabetic sister at the store eating candy bars unless you knew exactly where your sister was. Because she might have been down at the hairdressers getting her hair done with mom. Yeah, that's true. You wouldn't tell a lie like that unless you knew for sure you could get away with it. Right. And right. I think they know who did this. And okay. I think they're going to have to fess up here soon. Yeah. And I'm hoping. Well, I'm hoping. That. Yeah. I, well, I think we're all hoping that the real true uh, killer is found for, you know, for peace, for peace, for tree stuff, because I do believe that everybody says we support the guys. Yes, I do support wrongfully convicted. And I also support the victim. Because it's their injustice that breaks my heart. Do you know what I'm saying? And it probably gets Dude, every yeah. I I, right. I think I think the uh, I mean it's I'm not me. saying don't misunderstand me. I'm not in any kind of way saying that Teresa wasn't a victim. Right. But I think her family really was. I I, I yeah. think that they got kind of roped into something. And right. if they have ever figured it out that they were roped into something really wrong, they've never said yeah. nothing. Maybe they're scared. Yeah. But I don't blame yeah, they're, they're, them. Their silence is, is something to be wondered. I, I do agree. But Nan, Nan's life says a good thing here. Any decent person who worked on this case, either prosecution, defense, judge, lab, LE, and so on, who has who hasn't spoke up is no longer decent this injustice has gone on for way too long bravo yes i totally 100 percent agree that uh a, they're not a decent person anymore neither anybody who's lived with a lie this long and knows the truth um is not a decent person because a decent person would have come through and made themselves heard as far as i'm concerned you know so i agree I do agree. And yet, Summit Head is like Hillegas inserted herself in the case. Why? Control. That's what Dr. Suckman says, and I think that's a good reason, too. Well, and, and I see that um, because I'm looking at the chat here myself. I see that, and I I agree to that. I, I really do. Right. Why? Right. There, I mean, there's there's another thing. Why was Ryan Hilligus even allowed on the property? Oh, give me your thoughts because I'll tell you something. I have no idea other than control, to be able to control a situation or be told what to do. You know, so. I, under, I understand why he wanted to be there. I can't understand how he was allowed to be or Scott Scott Blodorn either they should have not been allowed on the property I mean they may not have been questioned like they were a person of interest but they should have been treated like one to say the least yeah don't you think they should have really investigated the inside out is what they call it the closest in to the furthest away right or the last place well, too. but i still think <coughs> was the last place was zippers that's my view it's always been my view and um that's just the way i feel about that but i can't prove it you know what i mean i can't i can't prove too much of anything in this case i'm letting kz do that so out of her emotion, what do you think is her strongest, um, her strongest, uh, you know, her strongest, uh, you know, point uh, of getting a, a evidentiary hearing? I can't even think of the words I'm trying to say, but you know what? You get the gist of what I'm saying. Yes, right? I do. And um, uh, I know he's, I, I know that he stoppled is like everybody's favorite word since they heard that. 
and, and, and I understand. I do. I, I I mean, I knew that word before this ever become. And right. I understand the procedurally barred thing. Mm -hmm. I think that her making them procedurally barred from changing that, you know, she's not going to let them flip flop. You said this, you made this this way, and now you're going to stick with that because we're not going to try a different case. We want to retry this case. That's her because the case they have. So, what do you think it is, Denny? What's the strongest point? Like Denny, give him back the bond, which is, would be a Denny, and 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 uh, how about a Brady? You know, or um, I mean, a, a Brady at violation by withholding or giving away biological evidence, or a Denny, a, a suspect. Which do you think is her strongest? Because you know she's named Bobby, and you know um, suggests. Um, Ryan Hill Hilgus. So, what are your views on that? Well, I think uh, I, I, th I think leading sort toward a Denny suspect is going to be her thing, her, her strongest <laughs> thing, and. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know exactly how she's going to work this, but Ryan is absolutely going to have to answer questions. Mm -hmm. And it, I, I believe that, that she's kind of thinking the way that I am. People want to say that it was Ryan. Okay, it, it it may have been. I don't know. I was not there. Right. But if it was, Scott's absolutely involved. Absolutely. No question Scott about Bloodborne. it. Scott Bloodborne. Yep. Scott Bloodborne is uh, a, a very interesting <laughs> uh, aspect, I guess you'd want to call it. Right. Best I friend, went to bed with her, I, lived with I, her. I, 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 I just can't get past him. And uh, let, let me put this to you this way. I'm, I'm sharing an apartment with you. We're just friends. We're sharing an apartment. Billy over here is my best friend. Mm -hmm. He's your ex-boyfriend. Now, he's been to the house the amount of times Ryan says he has. Right. The amount of times he says he spent there. Now, all of a sudden, Linda's gone. Let us go <laughs> over here. He knows where all of her dirty clothes is she wore last week. He knows where everything is in her room. He knows where everything is in the house. Now, he's standing there telling these cops this. I don't know about anybody else. And I am the way I am. I don't, I don't, can't cope that. I would have to question, uh, how the hell do you know that? Are you coming in my house when I'm not here? Do you have cameras in my house? How do you know where any clothes she wore last week? If you didn't see her, how do you know where everything in my house is? I mean, give me an answer to that. It just, that makes no sense. <clears throat> None.
It, it just makes no sense. So, in theory, if Billy knows all of this about Linda, and Linda is gone, and I want questioning and all of that, wouldn't you think a half-wit detective would be? I don't know what's going on. I can't hear her. She's muted her mic. Talking away. Didn't you <laughs> you no muted your mic and you're talking away. <laughs> yep. No budget Linda Productions all over again. Here we go. <laughs> that is just the way it happened. Exactly. But, but I mean, really, would you not think that half wit detective would want to know why I didn't question that? Yeah. I mean, my roommate was gone maybe a night. Uh, it, it, it was a normal thing. I wouldn't think about it. You know what I mean? But according to them, she never was away from home. She never stayed away from home. So if that's the yeah. case, I would notice the first night. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Mel, Mel. Mwah. Nice to see ya. So I would know if she was gone um, the first night. So for him not to say something to the parents, like, well, geez, or a friend or, or question it, and she's gone three nights, and she's never gone again, uh, or never is gone all the time. What, I mean, what does that say to you? It says to me, call her parents, call somebody. There's something going on here, you know? And he never really threw up a, a red flag. Well, well, and why would, uh, uh, Mike. Paul Buck is I, I, don't know. I, got lot, I got a lot of names. Right. <laughs> the brother? I <laughs> really don't want to hear him right now, but anyway. <laughs> the brother. Why, why <clears throat> would Mike not question the fact that, <laughs> that, that Ryan is moving into his sister's house? Right. Why? I mean, but he never did. No. Nobody no. questioned that. I mean, I do not understand why Scott was not removed from the house and not why allowed in the house for a day. Why wasn't that a crime scene? Treated it, like a crime I, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Well, they villainized Stephen. We know that they took the uh, they took victimology and flipped it, which is called villainizing. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Right. So they did that right. to Teresa. So, in other words, then her. Oopsie Daisy, yeah. there I am back again. Low budget Linda Productions. You at its best. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You are on the thing, I'm off. I don't know. That's just the way it goes. Anyway, so, you know, I mean, they didn't treat, this is like the worst investigation I've ever seen, heard. Uh, everything is a screw up. Everything is questioned. And we're just normal people, okay? How do they get away with this in the state? What is your view of the state itself? Fallon, gone, come, call. Um, you know, starts back as far as Peg Lautenschlager. You know what I'm saying? What are your thoughts about how they've handled it from the first time until now? Do you think it's just they're so far deep in, they don't know what to do? Um, they don't, um, do you think even all of them know? Or what are your views? I don't know. I, I, I don't know how much of an investigation was done. I do believe there was a good investigation done and a true one. I don't know really how thorough, but I, I do know in my heart, I believe there was one. Right. They wouldn't tell lies that they didn't know they could get away with. 
But yeah. as far and, as the laws go down there, uh, they're they're in the state's favor. They're not in the, in the general right. public's favor. But right. I think that, like you say, they're in this pretty deep, and. Uh, Two, there's, you know, there's that old saying, you know, falling into a bucket of crap and coming out smelling like a rose. Well, the rose smells like? wearing off. It's a wearing off pretty good. And yeah. things are starting to stink. Right. And it's not so you good think you're going to get an evidentiary or a trial? Well, there's definitely going to be an evidentiary here. There's okay. no question to that. But the question is, is what kind? Uh, I want there to be a verbal, vocal hearing. I believe, that in, and, and I could be wrong. I mean, I don't 100% know that that would be the best thing for Stephen. I really don't know that. But I right. think it would be. I, I think they show that evidence. It's going to be no question. None. From there, I think there's going to be real problem. I mean, right. because there, there, there's going to have to be grant something, and you can't have a trial. You can't have a new trial. Right. I mean, you have no bones. You have no bullet. And right. the blood in the back of the rab is uh, th that's done, you know. That's it, everything that wasn't disputed for has now been proved. Mm. I bullshit, I guess, because that's <laughs> all it is. It's it's knee deep. I mean, it's up to their chins. It's all it's all questionable. It's all, you know, and, and the travesty it is. is it, see, that's that's where I don't agree. I don't think that it's questionable. It's downright bullshit, and it's provable. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, I mean, yes. I, I agree. I do agree. And Ken Cross will not stay out of this. Right. I mean, he's. He's, he's he's in trouble. Himself, he's in trouble. He's gonna get sued. I'm sure when they get out, you know. So okay. Well, so let's go ahead. I I think that the problem there is is the state is either going to have to say they agreed with Ken, or Ken did this all on his own. And if the state agrees to it, that means they're responsible for it. They say right. Ken's all on his own. That makes Ken responsible for it. Right. So, tunnel I don't know. We'll see. Tunnel. Right. The Grand Canyon size gap between what they found and the way they reported it. Oh, you said that never, Lee. I'm not a kidding you. What they found and how they reported it. Exactly. It was targeted. I agree. But yeah, and like I said, you couldn't be so lucky to be struck by lightning two times in a row and to be wrongfully convicted two times in a row and then have poor Brendan dragged into it too, which is just a travesty. And, um, sacrificial lamb, whatever you want to call it. There's no good term for it. As far as I'm concerned, it's corruption. So you're hoping for well, an evidentiary hearing, stand up, speak it, show it, and then get on with the trial. You know what I mean? So do you think uh, there's anything that the state I'm, not hoping, I'm not just hoping. I know there's going to be an evidentiary right. hearing. Okay. I, 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 I am I hoping that there will be both. Yes, I am very much hoping that it will be both. I, I, don't, I, don't see the trial. I don't see Stephen going, getting a new trial. 
Do you think you're just going to find it and say, yep, this is just downright dirty and he's got to go? Out he comes. And that's have right. Evidence to take from. right. Well, Dr. Silkman says I mean, it great. They don't have it. One victim, two killers, two different murder scenarios. What the for the little up? What the fuck is right? It is completely bogus bullshit. We're all waiting for this to happen. So, what is your time span on this? When do you think KZ is gonna do? You, I mean, somebody think you know? I think next year or sometime. You know, um, springtime. Well, maybe. Maybe. April. April. Okay. Going to have to get us a... I look uh, for them to get up an answer around April. We're going to have to get us the... So, um, as far as Alan goes, it's, it, it, I see Jack's talking about Fallon on here. As far as Fallon goes, I think Fallon. KZ used him as a pawn. I think she got sick and tired of listening to him flap his gums. And then out he goes. And go. told Stephen to request every picture on the prop that was taken on the prop. Right. And Fallon doesn't want to give that to him, so he can't be there. If he comes back to office, he has to give that to Stephen. <laughs> <Coming back. laughs> Dr. Zuckman said he's Fallon is likely on a beach in South America somewhere without a phone. <laughs> well, he's on sabbatical, whatever that is for him. I think they kicked his butt to the curb. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, well, no, I well, think, uh, you know what? You don't think he's coming back to you? I, I think that, uh, oh, no, not until after all <laughs> this is over. <laughs> yeah, if he comes back, he has if he comes back, he has to give every picture taken on Stephen Avery's property while the Brad was there. Every picture of the Brad. Every picture of every piece of evidence. Yeah, we'll see it all. He don't want to do that. We've got a lot of um, surprises coming to us, I think, when she gets into court. And when she presents her case, I think we're all going to be a little surprised. I really do. And... Um, and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm really, really looking forward to it. And as is everybody in yeah. our community. And guys, Hi, you can have conversations with, with Moe's like this. Just join the Discord. It's in the description down below. And you can carry on and talk to Moe's because he's got a lot to say. And we could go on forever because we've been on for almost an hour and a half now. And we want people to watch. So we try not to go that much further, but I'll let you have whatever time you need to give us your last views, or you can come on again and we can talk to um, the one sitting to the, let me see, it would be your right on, on your side, your right side, wouldn't it be? No. Yep. Nope. Your left side. Pam, dear. Dear Pam. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mel, Mel, for She's trying to hide. Yeah, she's trying to hide. But yeah, maybe we can be because I'd like to ask you as a couple how this is going on in your house. How can you have these discussions and not get heated and kick each other's asses? But uh, we'll save that for another time then. So, anyway. Yeah. So, uh, like it. yeah. <laughs> well, so, okay. that's, that, that's fine. I got no problem. I, I'll, I'll gladly talk to you. Love you to death. I mean, I'll, I'll gladly come back and talk to you. Thank great. you for it's having me. It's been great having you. It really has. I, I I love your outtakes, and I got a lot of questions in for you, and some of them I'm sure you weren't expecting. But it's really nice to hear your view on like everything that we had to, you know, everything in the case that's basically a sham. It, it's a sham, and it's a shame that two men are there. So, it is. yeah, it is. It, it really is. It it's it's. This is a Scott, bad situation. It is. So yeah, with all that, if you haven't, hit subscribe, ding the bell, check out the description down below because you can go and talk to Moe's and join Foul Play and check out Foul Play's website. That description's down below too. And as always, thank you, Moe's, very much for joining. Everybody be kind. You're more than welcome. Bye-bye, all. <laughs> be kind. Keep others in mind.